Stephen Hunek was a world-renowned wood carving artist, furniture maker, painter, and author from New England. In 1995, he and his wife Gwen purchased 150 acres in St. John's Rue, Vermont, and transformed their corner of our world into the magical place we now know as Dog Mountain. Their dream was to create a sanctuary to honor the healing power of dogs, nature, love, and art. And now we are dedicated to sharing it with you. It was a dairy farm here, and they renovated the house to be the gallery, and the dairy barn was converted into the wood shop, the shipping area, the mold making, and at one point there were 23 people working here. Financially, he was at the top of his game, you know, where he had Madison Avenue representation, was on Oprah and Ellen, you know, he had a lot of press and was selling a lot of art, and he had four galleries. It may have taken a dive in terms of financial support, so, you know, Stephen had to lay off workers, and it wasn't a very happy time for him. He had to leave the planet in 2010, and then Gwen left us in 2013. Then the whole 150 acres, the plant, all the art, What's going to happen now? So, like 2016, the language started about forming a nonprofit, and in 2017, it was actuated as the Friends of Dog Mountain. And now, more people are aware, whether it's social media or the pandemic, left people at home looking at a computer where there's like, what am I doing? Oh, I need to get outdoors. Oh, look, let's search and find Dog Mountain. And they come here and are just thrilled with the way the place is presented, the land. Certainly the chapel is one of a kind. I don't know where there's another dog chapel in the world. And what Stephen was magnificent with was capturing the essence of uh, our heartfelt love for our dogs or pets. And, and the art that he made really captured that sentiment and certainly with a sense of humor too. My heart has been in other jobs, but this place really means a lot to me. And we just restored the steeple on the chapel and replaced the golden-winged dog that had fallen down years ago. And that's really a big deal for us. This chapel is the nexus of this vision and acknowledgement. However, this building is so much more than just four walls. It's a container of sort, providing a welcoming space for anyone to be within. It holds inspiration, peace and calm and grief and love. Experiences which in fact can actually never be contained. But the chapel is a place where they can be expressed. We have three annual dog parties, but our fall festival is always the biggest. And this year we're celebrating 20 years of the chapel and its um, renovation. And working collaboratively with um, Katama Arts to bring the Levitt Amp music series here is a big deal. And we've got a big stage and a concert series now that happens at the mountain, and that's gone on for four years. And we've been lucky enough to win that grant, which is competitive and it's, it's national. It offers, you know, uh, culture uh, because we bring arts, music, people here from and from all over the world come to visit and uh, make a pilgrimage to the Dog Chapel. So it really brings an eclectic and um, mixed group of people to the area. It uh, you know really boosts the economy because those people go out to eat, they shop in town, at the lovely shops here, and it is exciting to look forward um, you know, to just making the place look gorgeous again and utilizing it in new ways and preserving what's already been built here. It's kind of awe-inspiring to know that people are traveling so far to come visit our sweet little Dog Mountain. And when Stephen created Dog Mountain, he wanted to improve the quality of life for dogs. And that's something like I really admire because who does that anymore, you know? A lot of dog owners are constantly confronted by no dogs allowed or, do you know, people just worried that their dog isn't cool or something like that. But 
you don't realize how important these pets are to you until you have to say goodbye. Stephen really wanted to create a place where people could come, grieve, and kind of just get a little bit of closure and say a few last words to that pet that they may have not got that opportunity to. Leave your message on the wall and then come out here and watch dogs playing and the joy. And then you go into the gallery and all the artwork just uplifts you, puts you in a really good mood and it's just a great visit. You get laughter, joy, healing all in one. You start reading the notes in here in the chapel and you're just emotionally struck because dogs are just unconditional love. That's the whole point. I think Stephen really got that. That's what he was trying to convey. All that love, trust, everything that's on the wall here, friendship. And that's what dog, the essence of Dog Mountain is. So we call it the happiest place to be sad. Try our best to Conventional